Those are users, so don't use drugs. Don't use drugs. Ah! Ah! This number here is uh, someone, you know, I believe you you appreciate his work very much. But uh, be prepared to, to have him take a, to get taken down a peg. Uh, <laughs> okay. Never is, meet your heroes, folks. Yeah, don't ever meet your heroes in, a, in an anti-drug PSA from the 80s, because uh, this is what's going to happen. Hi, my name is Danny Elfman, and I'm from the group Oingo Boingo. Often people come up to me after a show, and they say, what kind of drugs do you use up there, man? It must be pretty strong. And I go, you're absolutely right. I'd like to share that with you now because the drug is a very, very powerful one. Best of all, it's non-addictive, it won't kill you, and it's free. It's called adrenaline. You can use it too. You know where you get it? Right here. Try it. It's the only safe one. Oh, we slowly I mean, push in on Mr. He's so. on, first of all, he's on so many drugs. He's on, yeah, he's on like, like that. high levels of DMT. He, 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 has, he has gone through ego death. He has reached multiple, yes. past the yes. machine elves, past, the, he, yeah, he's, he's on another another plane. Yeah, I want whatever he recorded that PSA on because yep. he looked so zooted. His mm-hmm. eyes are insane. Yes. His hair is like vibrating. His hair was moving. His hair somehow defied the standard definition of the time. <laughs> it shot in 4.3. It felt like it was like, like, uh, like 4K. His hair just came alive. Hair was in 4K. <laughs> Innovating. He, Elfman's an innovator. You know he is. Uh, yeah, so great, you know, great uh, composer, of course, you know, uh, working with Burton and, and a lot of the spookiness uh, and so many other uh, collaborations. Yeah. But, of course, our faves, some of our faves, Edward Scissorhands and whatnot. But, you know, just this is just yeah. strange. It's just a strange. It's a strange intensity that no one directed him to say, is there any other, like, speed? Is there any other thing here we can do? This just is, like... Some of the stuff they just felt like they rolled. They're like, all right, we got Elfman for, you know, an hour. Let's just get it. Here's what I'll down. say. Obviously, PSAs are just anti-drug PSAs are just lame, like by definition. So I don't want to defend this. Mm-hmm. But this is I would say this is weird, not necessarily bad, because some I feel like are really like don't do this like prescriptive like punitive feeling like you're gonna fucking die this one he's just like celebrating clarity yes you know which, which and like again. i don't i don't hate that like i would be like oh yeah there's times for drugs and times not and if you feel like really great on stage like not on drugs which um <laughs> judging by his behavior there i'm not sure is true <laughs> but like i'm actually down with the natural high like sure. more than i am I like saying natural high good rather than drugs bad is my point. Yes, yes. Uh, you're a lady of nuance, which not too many people are. Uh, it's wow, be, thank nah, you. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, hey, hey. Nah, nah, nah. Hey. hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, exactly. Like it feels like a positive reinforcement. I think it's, I think it's, to, I think all, of the, I think you're actually very correct. The, the reason, yeah, the reason I played this was not because it was one of the more sensational, you know, nonsense, uh, hard, uh, you know, hard shame ones it was it was the weirdness of course of it um because he does say fact i mean the facts of the facts is say well, was this the safest wasn't that what he ended on it was basically just like this one's the safest man this one up here like you know being like yeah if you just well like you're not gonna overdose i had a friend adrenaline unless you're danny elfman i mean he might he close. He <laughs> if that's he was what edging he's on the end of that spot. he's edging he looks like he's about to pop his top but he needed some narcan I had a, friend. a spritz of narcan after that <laughs> commercial for some reason. yeah he had some uh, rainbow candy for Halloween <laughs> for sure no he um i had a friend in high school which i won't say his name i don't know why but i feel weird about saying names on pods but he um he was a t- total drug addict still is like high as a kite all the time and he was really into fish probably still is and i remember him going sober to fish shows this is like very funny for a lot of reasons because he like liked the feeling the energy of the crowd and the music without like dulling that with drugs which is funny because i like wasn't always fucked up but i was definitely fucked up at fish shows you know that was like my mushroom time so i thought that was funny but I do think there's something to be said for just like the power of the mind and experiencing something yep. inspiring, creative, the collective, the collective is like, if you sing ever in a huge group of people, you feel high, even if you're not like, that's why I'm kind of down with this. But I will say, if I had to say what this was, it was weird. 
Yes, it was definitely weird. Um, I think you're trying to get me to go to that that uh, that Baptist church uh, on Sunday. Is that what you're doing with the like, you know, you come in, you get high, you just, everyone's singing. Yes. And, yeah, you've been trying yes. to sell me. I, um, I, I recently looked up a church on the corner where we live and was talking about going because I thought it'd be fun to like sing and like, uh, you know, like no people in our community. But I got like halfway down the first page of the website and realized it was just one of those really crazy ones. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was like, if you don't follow these rules, you're going to burn in hell forever. Whereas I thought it might be more like a let's sing and a little hippy dippy. Let's and, kiss the trees. And, yeah. Make a little yeah. magic here on earth. Like potato, potato, Jesus, right. nature, whatever. It was let's not just put that. on some, some, some fucking some classic Elfman tunes and just sober and just let it ride. Let it ride. I will say, uh, at, like, um, for all the Halloweeners out there, that Edward Scissorhands soundtrack is so amazing. It's funny, like, obviously this was made 300 years ago, so he's like, of yeah. Oingo Boingo. <laughs> but, like, you know, I know him as a composer of, like, a lot of great stuff. And yes. that soundtrack is beautiful. Instrumental. You just put it on, man. You, do, you know, you just put it on in the background, and it just it takes you to a place. It works for Halloween and Christmas, too. Yep. So, I mean, if he wasn't, you know, like... That's, yeah it, yeah it has the halloween christmas yeah it, it, it rides right into christmas it sure does uh, it's yeah, winona it, in the snow it's i don't oh, have hands yeah. i have scissor hands that's in the title it's cool scissors uh spoiler <laughs> um yeah I, I, i'm sober <laughs> i'm so so yeah everyone on the set of that film is sober uh, <laughs> i know <laughs> that was what if he had hands that weren't hands i'm sober <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Vincent All Price right. is just bumping lines. Yeah, I think uh, I think that 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 like we do know creative people uh, like that. I also won't mention names, just, even if they're sober or they're you know no no need to drag someone's name into a program uh, without their consent. But you know we know people who certainly are certainly very... not a sober Sally. Lord no, um, no I wouldn't want to out somebody for that. But you know that's the we know people like that too. So I think you know of course obviously everything is its own. I think you're right that I'll give Elfman the I should I spoke too soon. I shouldn't have said he, he'll be knocked down a peg or two uh, because if you're going to do him, make him weird. So at least no, he, I hear you. He participated in some fucking government. L.A. Propaganda. County Sheriff, I think, was that. Was yeah, that that's cool. bullshit. That that's a cab. Come on, Elfman. Like, I'm with you that he has knocked down a peg. I just meant in the genre of PSAs, there's stuff that's like you use once you drop dead, you drop out of college or third grade or whatever sure. they're saying and everything's bad and it's like really negative and really not like based in any factual information and he was just like i'm high on life and i'm like all right God bless you're him. a liar but great yeah your foot yeah your 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 pupils are dinner plates and you're sweating bullets my friend uh if that's just your own brain and your own adrenaline then oh i uh i don't know how you get through the day to day man um you're just that creative can't be that you know a genius and also just not be like actually just high 24 uh, 7 from your own juices stewing in his own goddamn juices uh all right, elf well, thank juice you. elf juice uh thank you so much to elf juice for giving us that little uh that little number users are users so don't use drugs don't use drugs ha!